Hello and welcome. What's happening here is the uh, Win PE pre-execution uh, DVD is loading. Uh, I've attached it. I have a drive attached to this one that has the images. What we want to do in this uh, session is to uh, transfer the image or apply the image that we previously created to a blank machine and I'd like to go through that process with you. While it's finishing the startup I'm going to go ahead and pause the video until uh, the WinPE disk actually gets started. Okay it's started up and I've focused in on the uh, command prompt window that we're going to be using. In this one we're going to use the uh, disk management utility disk part so we can get into it by simply typing disk part here and it will then allow us to manage the hard disks. The first thing we should look at is list the disks, which disks. We have two disks, 0 and disk 1. Uh, disk 1, you'll notice, is 124 gig and has 0 bytes free. Disk 0, the one that we're going to be using, has is 124 gig and has 124 gig free. The other thing we can do in here is to list the volumes to see what we have. And we see that our images are on the D drive and the F drive is the CD-ROM. The first thing we need to do is to create the small partition that Windows uses. If you have used the install media, it, you get this little message that says Windows may create additional partitions. That little small partition is where Windows puts the boot file. So the first thing we're going to do is to make that partition. We already have disk part running. The next thing we need to do is to select disk 0, the one that we're going to use, and it tells us that it is is now selected. If we go back and list disk, we have an asterisk by it which indicates that that is the disk that we have selected. The next thing we need to do, and we can see that it is it has no partitions, but we can use the clean command which succeeded. If there were anything there it would have uh, deleted any existing partitions. So the next thing we need to do is create partition if I can spell. Create partition and it's going to be a primary partition a size equal 300 which is going to give us 300 megabytes. Okay so it has created that partition and we're going to format and use the quick format and the FS file system equals NTFS and we'll label it, it if I can spell label equal quote STEM system. So we've done the quick format. So now we have, we can list volume here, and we have a volume a zero, a volume one, and a volume two. The volume two is selected. One thing that I didn't do is let's assign it a drive letter, and let's assign it a drive letter of S. And let's make it an active partition. The active partition, if you recall, is the one where Windows is bo will boot from. And this is, again, where we're going to put the boot files. So let's do the list volume again. And we have a drive letter. It's a system volume. Uh, and partition 300 meg. Healthy, ready to go. So the next thing we need to do is create a partition where we're going to put Windows. So we'll create partition uh, primary, and we can give it a size or not. If you, do, if you don't give it a size, it will use the remaining space on the disk. I just want a 75,000. We'll make it a 75 gig partition. And if I spelled create correctly, it probably would have worked better. You notice that if you make a mistake, it comes up with a basically what are you trying to do here. 
and I stepped Pell's Bell partition wrong. I need, need a little help. I know if you could, you would. But let's see if we got it now. I like that one better. So we have created a partition, and again, we're going to format quick file system equal NTFS and label equal, we'll call this one L-A-B-E-L -E equal Windows format quick. So we're doing the quick format successful already. Uh, let's assign a letter equal W. And we can list the volume again. And we have our volume. Volume 3 is active. We're on the Windows, so we we are, in fact, ready to exit here. And then we can uh, move on down and start applying the image. So, image X. And image X is on the F drive, so F colon, because we can see it's on the CD-ROM. F colon, backslash, image X. And we're going to, this time we're going to apply. And we're going to apply the image which is on the D drive, D colon, backslash, images, backslash, win, 7 dot, whim. And then we have to have an index number. And since this is the only one, it's going to be index number 1. And then we're going, where we're going to apply it to, and we're going to apply it to W colon. Uh, if I've done that right, then it's going to start doing the applying, and, and it's going to go through a process. This is going to take a few minutes, so while the image is applying, I'm going to, again, pause the video so you don't have to watch 17, 20, 30 minutes, whatever it takes of applying progress. Okay, it's done, and you can see here it took 18 minutes and 29 seconds here to uh, apply the image. The next thing that we need to do is to uh, copy the boot files into that little boot partition that we made. And it's the BCD, and the BCD stands for Boot Configuration Data. So what we're, what we're going to do is go to the Windows drive, and remember we assigned the letter W to it, and we're going to Windows system 32 and when we get there we're going to use bcd boot dot xe and then we're going to in that we're going to w colon backslash windows w i n d o w s because that's where our uh, operating system is forward slash s and then S colon backslash S colon is where is the is the drive letter that we assign to our little boot partition. So as we wait for this thing, the boot files have been transferred successfully. If we've done this thing correctly, we should now be able to restart it and it start in in the start up files of Windows 7. So we'll do the shutdown dash R, and let's do a time of zero. But you got to have the space in there, and for it to reboot, I'm going to pause this while it starts to reboot, so that I can resize it. Okay, it just restarted, and I uh, got got the window size resized away from that. Uh, that command prompt window, and this is what we see when we uh, initially start it up. Uh, start Windows normally, we can do that. Let me click into here, and we'll go ahead. It would have started. You saw the countdown timer. Starting Windows, and again, while it gets going on its startup, so that you don't have to just sit here and watch starting Windows, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video one more time. So you can see that it's starting up. Setup is preparing your computer for first use. So we're doing the mini 
setup that we would that we would expect to have as we went through the Windows uh, if we had the Windows Media in here, the, the regular process. So, country or region, United States, time, currency, U.S., keyboard, layout, U.S. Uh, next, we're going to name it a username. Remember, this username is going to be our administrative user. I'm going to change the name to the ImageX demo just to show that we can. And then we're going to put a password in and a password hint. If I can get it the same. Got to have our hint here. And golly, I got it. We'll accept the license. And let's go ahead and use the recommended settings. And when we get back here, I was on the Eastern Time Zone, and I am in the Eastern Time Zone. So next, and I'll say that we're on a work network. And uh, so Windows is now uh, finalizing my settings. And this is another one of those, as you recall, takes some time. So while it prepares my desktop, welcome, prepares my desktop. Again, I'm going to pause the video. When the desktop gets done, I'll go back to the uh, Windows machine. Okay, so it has just finished the startup of TeamViewer Zone here, so it's showing me how to configure it, and the TeamViewer, as you can see, is over here if we want to do it. The Thunderbird was installed. It's on this machine, and if you have been through the whole thing with me, in the programs, remember we put Microsoft Office on so that we would have it, the Windows Autom Automated Installation Kit, WAIK, is on here. So this is an image of the machine that we uh, created. We created the image. We have now applied that image to our new set of hardware. Um, that takes care of, if you watch all three videos, from making the Windows PE CD to creating the uh, Windows 7 image, the gold standard, to applying that gold standard to a uh, blank hard drive. With that, I hope this has been useful, and I'd like to thank you for watching.